Hi there. A lot of the times when I host a watercolor workshop, people get stuck in sketching part, in sketching their subject with a pencil. So to make things easier, I offer my students an outline. So they can just trace a drawing and get to watercolor parts without stress. It also helps to keep a sketch clean and light and avoid using a razor too often, which potentially can damage the surface of watercolor paper. I'm not here to discuss whether tracing a drawing is cheating or not, however, you can leave your thoughts in comments to this video. What I do want to talk about here is how to actually trace it. Lots of people don't have a printer to print a line work directly on watercolor paper, or a professional light board for that matter. In fact, lots of people who are just starting out with watercolor often never traced an image before, and that's why I want to share three simple ways how to do it without stress. So let's get to it. First, and the easiest way, something that absolutely everybody has, tracing with a window. Simple as it sounds, grab your printed outline, place it against your window, put watercolor paper over it, and you will see the line work through the watercolor paper. Of course, you need daylight to do it, so you can see the lines shining through. And a tip here is to use a very, very light pencil line. And the tip here is to uh, make sure you do not press your pencil too hard. So you need to keep your pencil line nice and thin, because remember that you're going to be drawing directly on watercolor paper, and if your pencil line is too dark, it's going to be visible through watercolor layers. By the way, if you're looking for simple and interesting images to trace, I have got a collection of 10 outlines ready to print. <laughs> there are all the different topics from animals and nature to still life and flowers. And the fun part is that every trace <laughs> comes with an already painted watercolor artwork of this exact trace. So you can use it as a reference or as an inspiration for your own painting. You can find the link to this collection in the description to this video and it's completely free. Have fun! So the second way to trace is to use a tracing paper. You can find it in any art store or stationery shop. It is super cheap and easy to use. Take your printed image, put a tracing paper over it, and trace the image with a pencil. When you're done, remove the printed version, you won't need it, and replace it with watercolor paper. Then flip your tracing paper so that the pencil drawing is facing down, put it on watercolor paper. Take a pencil and completely cover the tracing paper with graphite layer. Feel free to push your pencil pretty hard against the tracing paper. When you remove tracing paper, you will see that the image transferred very lightly on watercolor paper. But here's the tip. Before you print your outline, flip it horizontally <laughs> so the image is mirrored, uh, reversed. Otherwise, your actual pencil sketch, <laughs> your actual pencil sketch, sketch, otherwise, <laughs> your actual pencil sketch, the one on watercolor paper, will be reversed. It will happen the moment when you flip your tracing paper drawing facing down, and that's when the picture you create will be reversed. Nothing bad about that, but you know, it might be a bit confusing if later you will use a reference for your painting and the subject will look the opposite direction. And the final third way to trace an image on paper is, well, to use a tablet. Nowadays, it's uh, very common to have an iPad or a tablet at home, so that's why I decided to include it in this video. Of course, you don't need to buy an iPad just to trace the picture, but if you do have it, there's an app called Softbox, which will serve you as a light board. And voila! You can perfectly see the image and trace it on watercolor paper. So here you go! 
three easy ways to trace an image on your watercolor paper. Try out my downloadable outlines and let me know which one you like the most. See you next week. Thank mm -hmm. you.